when I first started TikTok three years ago on the 1st of May 2019, I had zero followers and my friends thought I was cringe. Now I have 13.2k and everyone thinks I'm cool. You just call yourself cool? What a loser. I want a Bangkok. Right now. Bangkok. That's right, I'm now in Bangkok for one reason and one reason only To become TikTok famous with 106,707 TikTok followers That's quite a big following, right? I've always wondered what separates the biggest TikTokers like Charlie Benello, Kaby Lin Boss From me What is the secret to their millions of followers? This is Singapore's population This is the population of America I guess generally the TikTok algorithm will push the content out to local audiences first And if it does well, it pushes out to the international audience Yes, you guessed it. With a bigger local population, you get a bigger number of people watching your videos, and it should be easier to hit my goal. Hello, Thais, I'm coming for you. Now you're wondering why this weird number? Because it's how much my parents paid in their school fees, and once I hit 106,707 subscribers, I'm going to pay my parents back. Please hit the subscribe button. You're essentially contributing $1 to this goal. In day one, we're off to a good start with the video hitting about 30k views in the first day. Boss. I was ecstatic. A video like this every day, and we're gonna make it. So, I had planned a few videos in my armamenty room. I was planning to document my adventures in Bangkok and the gym workouts that I did there. Day two, we went to Chinatown and it was fasting. Sheesh, okay, today is day 3 and we are at Chattu Chat Market. I'm going to try to live stream for a bit. I actually see quite a few high people live streaming here. So maybe there's a huge audience for live streaming. So, right now we're going to explore Chattu Chat. We're in section 18. We're going to live stream our location with changes. Uh, why not? We just finished live streaming for about 30 minutes. I've been shopping. I don't get any new followers, but I have to say it's a very interesting experience. For live streaming and making content, it is different. For live streaming, people are looking for a bit more interaction, so form of content compared to compared to the faster pace of content uh, that you, when you make the, like uh, videos. I really got to respect those successful live streamers because it's very hard to think of things to say at the spot, engage the audience while you're doing your main thing. Anyway, by now I realized things weren't going as well as I hoped they would. My Bangkok adventure blogs weren't doing so well. They were hitting about one to 2,000 views and not growing the account as fast as I would like it to have. But this was coupled with travel fatigue, lack of time to edit videos, and not having any other creative ideas. I was pretty much on the verge of giving up this challenge. Day 4 we were shagged and just slept in. On day 5, I came across this cute Thai TikTok and decided to remake it with the audio. One give my mm, like in you. It was my first breakthrough! What was that cool? It hit 50k views within the first day and I was stoked! I mean proud of what's next but I went back to what I did best. Making jokes about cop. Hi! Uh, I'm just thinking, does Big C mean Big Cop? But boy, it was another hit. I am on a roll and I'm pretty damn sure I'll clutch this goal by the end of the trip. But my run ended there. Following videos after that did not perform as well. In about 500 followers in about 7 days, which is still pretty damn impressive. From this challenge, I realized that it's good to have a team of content that you usually and consistently produce to be able to fall back on instead of doing random stuff like me or just pure documentation. This will probably enable you to get more consistent results. Secondly, the content that you make must be relatable to the local audience. So these two videos that I made uh, are quite similar, but one was more in English and perhaps it didn't click too well with the Thai audience. Lastly, people like cop jokes. Maybe I can make it my niche. Uh, that, that was just a joke by the way, I hope you don't take that seriously. I am more mature and capable of making cock jokes. <laughs> I meant I am more capable and mature than just making cock jokes. I'm currently editing the video now and just wanted to add a huge shout out to the huge creators out there. It's definitely not easy to amass the amount of attention and followers that they are currently getting. So huge respect to them. But most importantly, I spent quality time with my girlfriend on this grad trip. The lady is buying the whole shop. <laughs> I made new friends and caught up with an old one. In life, these matter more than just chasing numbers on social media. Right. Yes.